Team 13 is, uh, if you're unaware, the, uh, the standard benchmark for, for nonlinear solving uh, in uh, magneto-quasi-static. Uh, what is uh, important in this model is that uh, it, it has this very narrow air gap between two pieces of, of steel, nonlinear steel. Almost all of the, shall we say, interesting things going on in this model happen within the few elements in this air gap, right? Let me uh, walk you through how a person would set up this problem to solve efficiently uh, in magnet 7.7. .7. First of all, I should comment that if a user were to use uh, the default settings uh, in magnet 7.7, .7, they would, uh, not just for this problem, but for any problem, get a better result to in 7.6, and testing has shown that on average they will get that result faster than they did in 7.6. Uh, so let's, let's start by going into the solver options. There have been, I should point out, there have been no uh, user interface changes with regard to, for example, the solver options dialog between 7.6 and 7.7. .7. So uh, first of all, this Newton tolerance, um, I'll go for uh, 10 to the negative 8. I'm going to solve second order. Okay, but the interesting thing is the uh, new parameter, uh, which will drastically cut down our solve time. That is solver unconverged Newton iteration CG tolerance. Uh, this allows us to specify a CG tolerance for all of the Newton steps uh, taken by the solver prior to uh, convergence, okay? If I set this uh, without setting uh, one of the related parameters, either solver excess converge Newton iterations or solver excess Newton iterations, this will be the CG tolerance applied throughout the entire solve. I'm going to set this to 1% and then set solver excess converged iter uh, Newton iterations to 1%. Okay, what have we done here? Essentially, we've indicated that we want to solve the problem uh, throughout the Newton iteration to a high CG tolerance. As we approach the correct solution to the problem, uh, the B field should become smoother. Uh, it should approach what we expect it to be in reality, which is a continuous smooth field. Um, and we, we see this, <clears throat> if I can uh, display the uh, B magnitude field here. Note that I'm not displaying B magnitude smooth. Um, there we are. Um, so we can see here that the field uh, is, is actually quite, uh, quite smooth. The, the solver is achieving um, a, a much more accurate solution in uh, only a, a small uh, amount more time um, as a consequence of the, the improvements that have been made in 7.7 uh, .7 over 7.6. Over Uh, we have the current loop cut plane or the uh, coil definition method now in magnet. So now uh, we have a new way of doing it. Uh, yeah, so this, this uh, icon here, which uh, normally would be parked down here if you're by default in the solution so far, is the new uh, current flow surface coil. So yeah, so if I click here, it'll just define it right away. But what I could also do is, uh, if I hit the space bar, it'll reverse the direction of, uh, of the current flow there. So you can see that happens. And if there were more components here uh, and behind the one that's there, it'll, just like uh, in other, uh, pro if you hit tab, it'll cycle through them. So 